Hello, and welcome to Kids Church at Home. My name is Carissa, and today we are going to learn that Jesus is servant-hearted, so we serve others. I just finished cleaning all the bathrooms in the church. Question, would you rather serve by cleaning all the church bathrooms once, or by taking the church, church trash out to the dumpster every week for a whole year? I bet those were great answers. Jesus showed his servant heart when he served in a gross but important way too. Let's find out more in the Bible. The story we are hearing from today is from the book of John from the New Testament. And it takes place right before Jesus was going to die. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. The Bible is one way that God shows us his servant hearts. As we read this word today, let's see how he changes our hearts. Let's praise him for showing us how to serve. Let's pray. Jesus, Thank you for your servant heart. Help us reflect your heart as we serve others. In your name, amen. In our Bible story today, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. He knew he was going to die on the cross soon and he wanted to serve his friends. That's because Jesus is servant hearted. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into the basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Why do you think Simon was so surprised that Jesus was going to wash his feet? Jesus was the disciples' leader and their teacher. Washing feet was a yucky job that servants did. Someone as important as Jesus would never do that kind of job. That's why Peter was so surprised that Jesus was going to wash his feet. Nobody likes cleaning the toilet or picking up dirty underwear or washing stinky, smelly feet. But let's listen to what Jesus said next to Peter. Jesus replied, You don't understand now what I am doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested, you will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, Unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, then wash my hands and head as well, Lord, not just my feet. But Jesus did a gross, lowly job of washing feet to show that he is servant-hearted. And he was making an important point. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I am doing now? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that is what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. Why do you think Jesus served the disciples instead of just telling them to serve others? Jesus is servant-hearted, so we serve others. Jesus showed us how to serve instead of just talking about serving. Jesus wants us to know that there's no job too gross for us to do to serve someone. There's no task we are too important to do. No matter who you are, you can serve others. When we serve others, we put other people above ourselves. It's like an upside down pyramid. Jesus is servant hearted. Have you ever seen cheerleaders make a pyramid? How many people are usually on the top? There's usually one person or brick at the top of the pyramid. If you want, see if you can work together with your family to build a pyramid out of blocks. There needs to be one block on the top. That wasn't too difficult, but what if we turn things upside down, literally? This time, I challenge you to build an upside down pyramid. That means only one block is on the bottom and the levels get wider the higher you get.
how do our upside down pyramids show you what it means to be a servant? When we serve others, we put other people above ourselves. It's like an upside down pyramid. Jesus was servant hearted. He was willing to get down on his knees and serve his friends by washing their feet and putting their needs above his own. Thanks, Annika. Today we learned that Jesus is servant hearted, so we serve others. It's great to look for ways to serve anyone, although it doesn't have to be as big as cleaning all the church bathrooms. It might just be a small gesture. Maybe instead of watching TV, you can help your mom carry the laundry to the washing machine. Pause the video and think of one small thing that you can do to serve someone else today. We can look for ways to serve like Jesus no matter what we're doing. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your servant heart. Help us reflect your heart as we serve others. In your name, amen. Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus is servant hearted, so we serve others. Got it? Good. See ya.